Welcome back, everybody. We are still here working on the city. Got the three little pig houses done. Still haven't populated them with full of pigs yet. But I did see, at least I thought, I thought I saw a pig run around over there. Which kind of ties into today's work, or whatever I'm going to do today. I am going to put in a bridge here, because I think I need a bridge over into that area. I'm just going to gather up, gather some dirt here, so do this. And I just wanted to, oh, there's the piggy. So I'm going to build a bridge It's going to go here. So essentially this is going to be a tower with a door through it. And that will let us get to this north it's not north is it i don't know what direction what direction is this this is oh it is north so this so we're going to be so this will be north so we'll have a bridge that goes from that side i'll put a tower at this side and then we'll have the bridge that goes across and then you can get into the woods over here and then there'll be like a little road it goes through the woods and it'll go somewhere through here but i have no idea where it's going to end up because there's really nothing over here except for a little pig there's a little pig through here, but there's nothing else except for icebergs. You get into the ice fields, so there's no cities or anything over here. So it's kind of a road to nowhere. I'm on the road to nowhere. Yeah, that's a song. So let's get back here. And the reason I'm down here is because I was squaring this off. Let's see, is there, there's no easy way. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. There. And I'm one short. Oh, oh well. So like I said, this is going to be the tower. I have a chest full of stuff up here so let's grab a couple of these and make some stone I think I had some yeah I did have torches so I'm going to stick a torch down there and that'll light things up and I want to put a torch here actually there if I take this out Put a torch there. That'll light things up. And it gives me enough to fill in that. Yay! Well, let me get some sleep so it's not so dark. So I think I'm just going to push the road over here. And let's see. Yeah, I think if I if this is all roof, the road is like f what four across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. So if the road is four across, at least for the bridge. And then it will go out that way. So you come in. You got four in. And then this exit right here gets us into that road. Maybe we'll do this like that. But I kind of like this because it kind of it gives us some uh, defense. Do I need something bigger there? Yeah, I think. No, no, this will be fine because I'll, I'll do. Yeah, there. This will be fine right there. Do this and then around like this. So this will be all covered in. So this will be the first floor of the tunnel. And why that's important is because we got 
travelers or whatever coming through here, they'll go through this gate. There'll be a check-in here. So probably like we'll have a solid wall here. They'll check in or go through customs. And then they'll have to actually do this little left hand sharp 90 degree turn to get out here into the actual city. So what that does is it prevents any attackers from coming through here and just rush, you know, doing a bull rush and coming straight through. Which we have that thing on the bridge there, but that the bridge is highly defensible with the two towers and stuff. So this lets us do the same type of defense, really defensible without having to uh, put uh, multiple towers and things like that. And I'll have the same thing over there, except it'll be a straight shot for that tower. And this kind of creates this bottleneck, so people have to, you know, come straight at, can, you know, turn. So if uh, we don't want them in here, we can sit here and shoot them as they come through. And then the door would be here. So we have a door that comes in to the customs room. And then we'll have stairs here, which gets us up to the next, the upper security level. So this is all security. That's what this, time, this, uh, this whole thing is for, is all security. So let's see. I'm going to need like solid walls here because it's going to be the door and then we'll do the same solid walls here i think i can get over let's do like that kind of leave that open maybe let's for symmetry we'll do this And I'm just going to do solid here. I mean, it's very simple inside here. I'll put some torches. I mean, get rid of the torches and put some lanterns. That's what I meant. And then here. Maybe something like that. Hmm, not sure. Just thinking. Why don't I get, you know, get rid of these? Do this here. And then. Yeah, let's put. I'm just going to put a floor in here for a second. And maybe this door. Lots of stone brick, but I think it's a okay. cake. It's got that medieval, heavily fortified you know, building look to it. Do there and there. There we go, like that. Let's do that there. Yeah, so what I'm going for, sorry, it was a little quiet there. I was thinking, trying to make this defensible. So we have this, this is basically guardhouse here. But I've got this protective wall, so you can't get sniped coming into the room. You can get into the room, and then you'll come around, and this is where you know, the clerk will sit. 
But if bandits come in here and shoot the clerk, they can't. And then they're not going to hold everyone, you know, hostage from getting in this room because you can't, they don't have a straight shot for the door. Without this thing, they got a straight shot from that window to the door. So as soon as anyone enters, they get sniped. With this, you only got the one clerk who's really at risk. And if you need to come through here and take care of the people who's trapped in here, because there'll be a gate at the, um, either end. So they'll have a gate here we can drop and a gate here it drops. So if you get trapped in here, they can work their way around the corner. Because they really, from here, they can't take care of both corners really yeah because once you get over here i mean you could maybe shoot through there but you're really not going to be able to shoot anything through here they've got an eye on you so they know if you're on this side so they know to sneak in over here if they can't see you they know to sneak in over here so either way they could get you know sneak around this corner and get you oh plus they got the window here where they can just peek in and go haha you're trapped now you shouldn't have uh, should have Obeyed the law. It's our city. We do what we want. All right, so that's it. Yeah, I think I'm getting a good start here. And I'm just going to do one solid row here. Except for the door. This door is going to be wider. Actually, this door here, yeah, that door is going to be a little archy, like that. Do I have andesite? Uh, andesite. That's my wall. So like this one, got the arch here. This one will have the arch like that. Maybe like that. Oh, come on. And then we'll just put a row of andesite here. Oops, I can't get around there. Dang it. What the heck am I doing? Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe it's because it's nighttime. I've been out in the dark too long. Holy cow. Oh, maybe it's time to give up and go to sleep. Okay. A little bit of light on the situation. It's going to make it all better. So initially, my thought was to build a really tall tower, two stories, multiple stories, and that kind of stuff. But I think I just need a basically a gatehouse here. So we are just going to put on a little shed roof on this side. So we still have a little, the guard house here. I think I need... Well, that'll be fine. I was thinking I need a different block, but I can get by with this. So I can just do this, this, and we'll just cap that off. And then this is really going to be done up here. It'll be tall on the inside, but we don't need like two stories up here. We'll do that, and then we have stone brick. Oh, and I got cobblestone. I have an idea for the cobblestone, but let me put two layers here, and then we'll put a layer for the uh, the actual roof. So it's just going to be a flat roof. I thought maybe I could try doing something like this. 
So that'll make it'll make its own like Merlons and Krennels. There. So we'll get that there. That maybe no no I don't want that don't want it to join so we'll do that there Let's see if I can get this there there and there now I'll just put bottom slabs. So I don't have any mobs, you know, spawning up here. Of course, I can't place a slab to save my life here. And there's really going to be no one up here, so we should be good. So let's take a look. Oh, yeah. And then I thought... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another... Oh, here. So we're going to put this like here. Like that. Ooh, that looks a little weird. Hmm. I was trying to avoid putting them right underneath each other. I think we're going to have to do like that. Can I jump up there? No. So if we do like that. This and so let's carry this all the way around. I'm just trying to get it a little, you know, a little flat fatness. Sorry. I'm Stumbling on my words here, a little fatness. I think I was having trouble talking. If and I'm not sure if fatness is actually a architectural description or not. However, that is the description I'm going with. Because I thought the tower was looking a little puny and skinny. Let's so get rid of that. Let's just get rid of all this. Here we go. And it does need something here. To think. If I just carry, no, I think I'll, well, carry it with the slope of the roof, maybe, like that. Yeah, so that's a hefty looking gatehouse there. And then we're going to have the bridge going out that way. Okay, so I just got a little bit more to do, and then I should be about done. At least for, with the first part here. Then I'll need to push the bridge and build another gatehouse over there.
Yeah, that makes this nice and big. Do I have, yes I do, I have chains. Oh, I needed to get more lanterns, didn't I? Oh, I did get, I got three. How's that for a lot? So I think I can hang like one here. And then like one there and not there. Yeah, maybe one here. Yeah, that'll work. So I think I got the outside done. I just want to go through here. I'll make a little path to it. Put a normal door and I'm gonna put a lantern just right there. And then just to make it look a little nicer, I'm gonna put a couple of these here and maybe like a little bookcase there. Because this is technically an office or a, 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 not a custom so much, but basically a welcoming station. Uh, we're going to pretend you can actually get into the chair here, but this would be the, yeah, so the customs officer would sit here and, you know, let people in out of the city. Mainly, filter them from coming in. I guess they can leave all they want, but you don't want to be coming into the city unless you have uh, proper paperwork and all that kind of bureaucratic uh, nonsense. Well, it's not nonsense. It's bureaucratic uh, stuff overhead I mean, you do have to be careful of the riffraff you let in because you could end up letting uh, nefarious you know crooks and thieves and criminals and who knows what they all try to sneak in because they're going to pretend they're not uh, who they are So that, there we go. Oops. I'm going to have to leave that out of there so I can get up and down. I think that, I'm really not sure about this. Um, let's see. I just need a little bit of trim here. So I'm going to try this. I've never tried this before. That may actually work like that because it gives it a like I said before it makes it kind of gives it some weight and makes it fat but it, yeah so I think that'll that'll help it's kind of an irregular shaped gatehouse but it does the function so I think that's going to finish it for today uh, next up, I need to build the bridge across and build the gatehouse on the other side. That'll kind of be a combo, you know, because I need to, I guess I need to do the bridge first so I know where the end anchor is over there. I mean, technically I would, you know, in real life I would have put the gatehouses on either side and then put the bridge across, but I think I'm going to build, you know, push the bridge out and then work on the gatehouse, maybe do them both at the same time, because I could do that. And then after that, I had one of my viewers comment on the last video that we should build a house for the Big Bad Wolf. So I'm thinking of a design for that. I don't have one right off the top of my head, so I'm not quite sure. And this looks like a wolf, but it's a dog. So I'm going to actually need to name tag an actual wolf without taming it and then bring it over here. But my thought, I think either I will put it here across the street from the pigs. I think that would be hilarious because that could be a sitcom when you have the three little pigs on one side of the street and the big bad wolf on the other side of the street. But so maybe put the wolf's house here. I just need to figure out what to build it out of because it's not going to be a straw, solid wood or solid bricks. So kind of be a combo of those and maybe maybe he lives like in a modern style house where you know it's all 
new age and fancy. But so that'll be in uh, not next episode, maybe the episode after that, or another one down the road. So I'm going to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.